iOS 17 is now official and that means standby mode is official on every iPhone that can support iOS 17. But if you don't have an iPhone 14 or 15, it doesn't stay on. So here is another way how to keep your screen on in iOS 17 on any iPhone that supports the iOS 17. So as you see, it's docked, it has to be charging, it has to be sideways, and is now running a series shortcut that instead of sending a ton of notifications to keep the screen on, it is sending a power off or a low power mode off and low power mode on mode, and it does that every 20 seconds. So here is the code. This is a series shortcut on my iPad. It's called always on for broke people because you don't have an iPhone 14 or 15. I'm, I have an iPhone 13, so I need this too. So uh, it will show a notification and then it repeats a hundred times or however many times you want. If you want this edited, you can just look for a number, number, select a number, make that, you know, nine, whoop, if I can type nine trillion bazillion times. And then in this repeat, you just click in there or double click with uh, right, hold down, uh, long click, long click. Okay, so I had to do a long click. And you see there's a variable called number. That is this guy. So you select that. So now it will repeat that many times. It will go through. If the current brightness is set to one, it will quit the series shortcut. Um, and then I did not write this shortcut, so I'm not even sure exactly what everything's doing and why, but here's the cool part. So turn off low power mode or turn on low power mode, turn it off, wait 20 seconds and repeat. It just does that over and over. So the reason why this one's so good is because my previous shortcut, which was just doing a notification a million times, even if you stopped using that your phone, you wanna just take it off the charger and stop the shortcut, it would still, notifications would still keep coming in over and over and over. So thankfully, what's good about this is when you play it, it will start running and you can stop it because it will just keep looping, but it won't, even if the series shortcut is gone, that you can stop it straight from there. So that is why that is super helpful for that. And the best way to run this is you can create a personalized, uh, automation. So I have a personalized automation that says, ooh, let's get focus. Wow, focus is really bad. When my phone starts charging, turn on this series shortcut. So I'm going to turn off my phone, then I'm going to put it sideways and charge it. And that, once the screen, whoops, has to be sideways. All right, take two. So once my phone connects to power and it's sideways, whoa, there we go. So it is on, so what should have happened is since it's powered on, the series shortcut is now engaged. So in about 20 seconds or so, it should blink really quickly and then it will turn back on. Um, it's hit or miss for me. Uh, one time I tried it, the series shortcut was like, okay, I'm done. But I think that's because of the part where it's like, if the screen brightness is at 1%, ignore it. Um, so then I just turned up my screen brightness turned off the phone or powered off the screen, put it on and it worked. So remember your phone, oh, see it worked. Your phone has to be on. So like the, the has to be sideways and charging. It could be charging via cable. It could be charging via MagSafe. It just has to be in landscape and it has to be charging and it has to be on iOS 17. And that's when standby mode has to work. So, and then you turn off the screen. So if I turn on the screen, so I powered it off, but if when you take it on, put it back on, the screen has to be off to have this running again. So anyway, hopefully that helped. I will have this series shortcut in my, uh, the description of this video and also in my one profile in the link in my bio. Uh, so hopefully you can just download it there. And if for some reason you just wanna see it and do it straight from here, here is the code right here. Show notification, have a number, repeat that number. If it's dim, uh, do this and stop the shortcut. Uh, then turn on low power mode, turn off, wait, end, and then show notification when it's complete. 
And that's pretty much it. So I will definitely have this in my bio. And hopefully this helps out some of you who don't have an iPhone 14 or 15 with the always on display that you can get standby mode to work on all your iPhones. Cause this is just a spare iPhone. You know, it's just gonna sit here on my desk for forever. Um, I don't know how it will affect battery health or battery life. Um, just don't use this on your main phone or you can if you want, but I would recommend using a spare iPhone if you have one in a drawer that can run iOS 17. I would do that and yeah, I really like this and it, this is a really cool feature. I can't wait till this feature comes to the iPad. I can just have an iPad sitting here that is on standby mode. Just imagine a beautiful, huge display. I don't use my iPad all the time. So just when it's plugged in the power and just sitting here at my desk, it can be a giant clock with calendar and all sorts of widgets and everything control my smart home. Kind of compete with the uh, Amazon Echo or the Google Show. like. That's what this is supposed to be. So hopefully next year, but for now we have the iPhone doing it and it's actually pretty cool. So I will see you in the next video and hopefully this works out for all of you.